In this video, we're going to talk about the anatomy of the deltoid muscle. So the deltoid is a thick triangular muscle, which covers the shoulder joint anteriorly, posteriorly, and laterally. It takes its name from the Greek letter delta, and it's divided into three different sections, which are called the anterior, middle, and posterior heads of the deltoid. The anterior head arises from the anterior border of the lateral third of the clavicle. The middle head arises from the acromion, which is this bony prominence coming from the superolateral margin of the scapula. And the posterior head arises from the spine of the scapula, as you can see here. From these origins, the fibers converge together and insert as a single tendon at the deltoid tuberosity of the humerus. And when all three heads are acting together, the deltoid performs abduction of the upper limb. It's essentially the key muscle responsible for this movement, and in particular when the upper limb is between 15 and 100 degrees of abduction. Another muscle, the supraspinatus, initiates the movement, abducting the upper limb for the first 15 degrees, and then the deltoid takes over between 15 and 100 degrees. The anterior head, acting alone, draws the upper limb forward, contributing to horizontal flexion of the arm, which is what this movement that you're looking at now is called, as well as flexion, abduction, and medial rotation of the upper limb. The pectoralis major, which I've just brought in, assists the anterior head of the deltoid in performing all of these movements. The posterior head of the deltoid draws the upper limb backwards, contributing to horizontal extension of the arm, as you can see here, as well as abduction, extension, and lateral rotation of the upper limb. The teres major and latissimus dorsi muscles assist the posterior head in performing all of these actions. Now the other key action of the deltoid is stabilization of the head of the humerus. For example, when we're carrying a heavy load, it holds the humeral head in place, stopping it from dislocating inferiorly. And dislocation of the humeral head can cause damage to the axillary nerve. This is the nerve which innervates the deltoid and damage to this nerve can lead to paralysis of the deltoid muscle. So again, the deltoid is innervated by the axillary nerve, which is formed by the fifth and sixth cervical nerves. Arterial blood is supplied to the deltoid by the posterior circumflex humeral artery. And that's it for the anatomy of the deltoid muscle. If you found this video useful, feel free to hit the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.